Journey to Jaja's Village. As the evening sky begins to glaze over with stars, let us tuck ourselves in and journey through the pages of a bedtime story set in lands afar, in a serene village known as Jaja. This tale revolves around young Max, a ten-year-old boy from the bustling city of Toronto, brimming with life and an adventurous spirit. With a bright smile on his face and a suitcase in hand, Max set out on a summer voyage to the land where his parents' roots ran deep, Africa. His heart fluttered like the delicate wings of a butterfly as he daydreamed of meeting his grandparents and the numerous cousins he had often heard stories about. Max was about to become part of the world his parents cherished, a world painted with fond smiles and sparkling eyes when spoken of. Upon arrival, Max was warmly embraced by the luminous African sun, a stark contrast to the steely grays of his city. He was welcomed by a symphony of drumbeats and cheerful singing that infused the air with pure joy and a sense of togetherness. In the gentle arms of his grandparents, under the gaze of their delighted twinkling eyes, Max felt an immediate bond to this piece of his heritage that he had only ever known through tales. Our young explorer's days quickly filled with wonder and numerous firsts. Delights for the palate awaited Max in the form of mouth-watering jollof rice, sweet fried plantains, and tender grilled meat that simply melted away, carrying flavors as rich and diverse as the land itself. Meals in Jaja weren't just a culinary feast. They were a melting pot of narratives, laughter, and shared history. Through games like Ampe, a test of quick feet and agility, and hide-and-seek among the mango tree's verdant embrace, Max found camaraderie with the village children. Their laughter became the music of the village, weaving a tapestry of memories that would endure in Max's heart through all seasons. One of Max's most treasured recollections was sitting under the wise old baobab tree, its branches stretching like the arms of his ancestors. Here, his grandfather spun tales of the past, of spirits that continued to watch over them, and Max felt himself engulfed in a profound sense of belonging, his heart swelling with pride for the lineage he shared. As Max's journey neared its end, so did our story tonight. The village of Jaja celebrated his presence with a farewell underneath a blanket of stars, surrounded by the gentle lights of lanterns and the sweet fragrance of night flowers. In those moments, Max made a promise. A promise to return to the place that had shown him the simple yet profound joys of life. Back in Toronto, Max brought with him more than mere souvenirs. He carried a sense of identity renewed and vibrant. And though he was Canadian by birth, he was now, undeniably, a citizen of the world, a boy forever linked to a village under the majestic African sky. So now, as we close our eyes and drift towards sleep, let the spirit of Jaja remind us of the world's vast beauty and the connections that bind us across miles and memories. Good night, and may your dreams take you on wonderful adventures just like Max's to Jaja's village.